So, hey guys, Chauza here. Again, we're going to check out some feedback suggestions for OPTC from the subreddit Discord server. And if you're not aware, the feedback here is actually uh, looked over by the community manager, Jonke. And we don't really know the process, but she does say that she forwards feedback to Bandai headquarters. That doesn't mean anything here will happen, but it means that at least here people can make their voices heard. So, we're going to continue off from last video, where I gave my opinion to every suggestion. So, we'll just continue from there. Okay, Maya suggests add support and pyramble filters in the box search. Sure, we need more filters in general. Bro suggests, great YouTuber by the way, uh, let us toggle down that cancerous tandem attack animations, just like the support animation at the beginning of the quests. And yeah, sure, like make it an option. Personally, I don't care, but I know that some people with less good phones or iPads and such struggle with that. Don for Bingo has a heavily downloaded suggestion. Uh, I actually had this <laughs> downloaded already. But I downloaded it to double check and basically make a new legend that had a very unique potential ability. Uh, and yeah, I'm not going to read through all of this, but I don't really agree in general with stuff like this. Like, sure, makes some captain abilities that are special, but we don't really need more. Unique potential abilities. Uh, a suggestion from uh, Rujin, who says, increase the drop of gold experience booster on monthly Fortnite, please. And yeah, this is one of the biggest issues with the uh, monthly point event. It should drop way more turtles. It's not good as it is. An option to favor multiple all characters. I really don't care. Uh, Miss Hall suggests uh, just a simple improvement to the audio instead of on off. Make it a percent where we can control audio. And yeah, this is one of the things I want the most. Like, you might see sometimes that I don't have an audio recording. It's because if I want to voice over while recording, the in game audio is so high you can't even hear my voice. And sometimes I'm too lazy to just record and then voice over. So I just have to remove all audio which is very annoying, so some toggle will be great. Mark suggests uh, in-game regu regional time zone so that the events, like ranking events, so there's a balance in all regions. Well, basically, <laughs> have multiple rankings depending on where you live, and I'm not going to download it, but I think it's fine as it is. I, my solution personally will be to just vary the times of the events and not do the same every month for every event. Uh, because like, then it becomes a bit more fair at least. Like I like the status quo personally, it's great for me, but I know it sucks for others. So might as well spread the love, so to say. Exo suggests, in order to have a more flexible frame captain list, list all active captains for play in a row. Uh, people upload it and we do need some frame captain changes, so I'll just upload it. I don't feel like pressing a random picture when I'm recording. Uh, Yamako thinks Parrot Alliance needs an update. And the Akisna Clash is the only thing that makes use of teamwork. Which I guess is true. Yeah, Blitz and uh, PvP is solo grind. Uh, like, I don't... I, like, if the feature exists, it might as well be used. But I really... Like, I'm going to feel bad for doing this. But I really don't feel like we need to focus on the team aspects of the game. For me, this is a single-player game. If I could design, I'd just remove all of the forced teamwork, but 
At least it's not excessive assy, so let's keep it like that. Is my personal opinion. Uh, Ryan suggests for Kisna make a separate team window for us to build teams like a trash maps does it. Yeah, this is one of my most wanted Kisna saying changes, apart from like making rewards actually good and such. Uh, the sugar tax says allowing po positioning banners in a way the players like. And yeah, like that just sounds like a waste of resources. Uh, Ketchan suggests increase box space limit, like why not? Increase friendlies limit. Yeah, I think most people agree with that. Tommy suggests bring back up challenges. And I've already done one of it, it seems, but yeah. My stance on garb challenges have been made clear. I'm not against them bringing it back if they keep making new ones. Bringing it back just to force me to do two year old content every month. No thanks. I enjoy garb challenge a lot more as is. Like if I feel like doing garb challenge holy to try out a new legend, I can do it. If we don't have any new legend that is good against holy, I can just ignore it. Simple as that. Uh, Sparta suggests. A very clever thing would be to re-enter step 4 of each banner at the cost of one gem. <laughs> like, yeah, it will be clever, but yeah, but yeah. I'll upload it anyway because I think most people aren't that happy with the state of banners and gem deals and such. <laughs> uh, make the free multis come towards the medals and please give free multis. I think Freemold is counted to marshmallows before, but it never did on JP, and we're basically JP now, so. But, yeah, whatever, I love it. Uh, include Halloween Ace Legend in the medal exchange for October. Uh, like, Halloween is at the end of the month, so. Like, this is an old post, but... We'll see. I think he might be on it for next month. Let us vote for Legends of Six Plus. I don't really care for stuff like that. Andrew suggests make his rankings visible after events end it. Yes, please. I hate to have to time travel to check the rankings. Uh, and yeah, they do need to think about the boosters for point events. So sure, I'll upload that. Sometimes it's hard to build fully boosted teams without pulling. Uh, Christy on debut ban, if you go past 20 molts and you don't have the debut element yet, he will come at level limit break 3. Yeah, I don't like it, wouldn't be bad, but I don't see any reason ban I will do that. Uh, Augie suggests please make the ship quest cheaper, as a new play is just too much, especially because you get them for free when they arrived. I think that's incorrect, right? Ships have all the cost scams. Unless I'm misunderstanding. Uh, Samakai suggests in the bazaar when you're trading characters for points, could you make it so we could possibly trade more than just 10 characters? Like you have the sell button set up? Yeah. I'm surprised this is so heavily downloaded because this can be annoying, but of course the thing is that you don't really need to use the bazaar, so I guess I'll settle for this. It was very annoying back in the day, not as annoying now when you can just use the sub button. Uh, Scott X suggests uh, dis disable the script that makes us always take out double great character, which evidently happens. I have no idea what this means. I'll download it just because it lacks clarity. <laughs> Go suggest add trash map sugo carriage and keys in the sugo carriage available in the metal shop. Sure. Well, if it happens, Sunny Pudding will be first, so maybe for Christmas, who knows? <laughs> Hell King Sorrow suggest can clear the friend missions since the sign friend ED is inactive for more than a month. I will say that the friend in white system in general is very bad. Like, I have players that are active and they might take a small break or something, just a day here and there. 
and they might be at like 90% on their active playing and suddenly you get the fail message. So I basically not have a single one cleared yet. So there's something wrong with it. Uh, let us auto feed rare crit dupes. Like it sounds good, but sounds like too much work to be worth it. Yeah, sure. That will help. I always have to check, double check if I own the unit or not. Uh, add filter for crewmate abilities. Yeah, that would help a lot. I had to use the DB just because we lack some filters. <laughs> Sparta suggest. You have increased the cost of the gem packs. I've increased the gem spared us into the cost. Yeah, sure. Like, at least for me, gem packs are not worth it more. <laughs> Auto battle for TM on JP. Sure. Uh, make the new trash map limited units. Except from the restriction making, them limited to only one team. Uh, limited teams is one of the fun parts of treasure map. Don't really want to change that. I'm not against making changes to treasure map, but not that particular one. Uh, nameless suggest addition of limit break material converters for those who have tons of materials on a certain type, but almost none of another. Yeah, more options like that would be cool. Especially being able to convert like jewels and such, which you don't really need a lot of. Avador suggests, if complete TM overhaul is not an option, make specific TM stamina means for level ups that you can use when needed. <sighs> Couldn't he have made two posts like, I agree with making stamina naturally go to 200, but I disagree with the rest, so you'll get the uh, crocodile thinking from me. Uh, Solaris suggests, make characters that delay enemies with the captain bills apply delay. When they deal in a pro across stages and across your wives. Across stages, I disagree, but across your wives, yes. So, this is not a case of I agree with one, disagree with one, so crocodile, I think. Reduced number of treasure map mini bosses? No. Disagree. A battle pass? Yes. Anything that gives cheaper games? I'll upvote. <laughs> Add a history log on PvP defending so we can see what team attacks us. Yeah, I think stuff like that will be really cool for PvP. The defense aspect is pretty invisible right now and it could be made more interactive. <laughs> the suggest Captain effects are such far as to say ignores defensive effects should actually ignore all defensive effects. Yeah, this is just someone that doesn't really understand how the game works, so yeah. I'll download. <laughs> Add mute music option when the game is freshly installed. Music is kinda annoying when trying to listen to other music while the game downloads data or such. <sighs> that just sounds like a lot of work for nothing. Add the Wapol Kotokan I went every month. Like, why? I don't, I'm not against like adding some New good way to farm CC, but why the Wapple mission? That mission is so annoying, I'd say. <laughs> I hate farming that. Uh, add an experienced material farming island, getting to offset how much it takes to 150 a unit. Yeah, sure. It should be easier to level 150, so I'll upload. Anthony, please remove the 3 times stamina for Bleach mission, or drastically reduce the amount of stamina to enter the quest, like 10 stamina. And yeah, a lot of people are voting, but you have to remember that for ranking, three times stamina is awful. It makes you waste a lot of stamina, a lot of meats, a lot of gems potentially, which could be used better on other stuff. So yeah, just for blitz, three times stamina sucks, especially since the drops are usually very bad. Uh, Ava suggests. Switch Captain and Special Ability buff from LLB to make units at least usable with the new LLB system before obtaining 10 dupes. Well, I can g agree with that, but I feel like this is a lost cause. They've already decided. And indeed, the special buff is the more important one. So, yeah. I would have also preferred them to swap it, but it's too late. Uh, can we get a Gadrylan buff? Well... I'm actually hoarding tickets, hoping for some changes. Badnock suggests you should have made Halloween a spyable, like 
I see so many people complain about this. Wait for Halloween Metal Shop update. Like, it's just a few days left now. Uh, first, for a suggest, I like for Blitz Parents to be published on Twitter at least one day prior to the beginning of the event. Of course, that should always be the case. Uh, Gladonga suggests, uh, get rid of alliance rankings and things alike. And yeah, you see a lot of people disagreeing here, but you know what I think. Just get rid of the team feature of, uh, all in all. I know most people disagree, but it doesn't make the game better in my opinion. A way to be able to send friend requests to the people doing your friending wine campaign or for them to be able to see your friend captain if you don't add them. Ordinary request requires you to use them to use you as friend captain. Uh, I need to double check that because I never add them. Is that why they can't finish their quests? Let me know in the comments if this is the case. I'll do a crocodile thing for now because I have no idea. Add friends to system like old days where you interact with them. I'll add a crocodile thing just because that's horribly worded. If you mean like give the system where you can see two units from the same friend. Sure, but just write that then. Uh, Isaac suggests Pukisna Insignia in Box 7 rewards. You know, I made a video about this the other day. I of course agree. Uh, we haven't had a versus unit in a very long time. And hey, Yamiko, when very clear, if you like versus units, <coughs> upload. And download if you don't. I like them. I want more. Barriers to rainbow game conversion. Uh, why, I love what, why not? That's a fun suggestion. Uh, we already have this suggestion locker. You should double check what other people suggest. Bring back World Clash events. That's basically every single uh, Blitz battle now. Uh, I think there's actually already a refresh button. Like, not on the actual friend list, but there is a way to do it, like, in-game refresh. Like, back to title and such. But yeah, sure, I'll upload. Uh, Blitz CMM Garage should always be 50 gems or higher, not 6. Is it really only 6 gems for this? That sounds very low. Uh, add rewards for collectors. I don't think we need to encourage that behavior. Ego Soccer suggests... Give us an optic effect after we LLB max a character. Uh, I feel like the red text is enough for me. I feel that gives the accomplishment feeling. Final suggestion, Lin Lin. Uh, I will be checking the sort of alliance members even though it's ended. Again, someone already made this suggestion. Please double check what others suggest. But yeah, that's it for this video. And my voice is about to give up too. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.